Welcome back to Barbie's Dream House. It's Jazz Hands, and today we're doing a very quick video because half of her outfit's already currently on. But we're going to be doing Solo in the Spotlight, one of the 1959-1960 fashions, and it's considered a very classic one. I personally don't like this outfit, but I'll explain why in a little bit. Solo in the Spotlight without doll, number 962, dramatic black glitter gown with bare shoulders and rose corsage on nylon net flounce, long black nylon tricot gloves, pink scarf and bead necklace, black plastic pumps, plastic microphone. The set, $3, number 982. It's a great illustration. I don't think it looks as good in real life. And it's on a bubble cut, and I was going to get out the bubble cut to do it. But to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of annoyed right now because the videos that I actually wanted to do, I wanted to do Red Flare, one of my favorites. And that outfit has gone completely MIA, so I don't have it. And then I also then I decided, okay, well, if I don't have that, I'll do Barbie babysits. And then I don't have the stinking apron for that one. And the worst part about that is that at one point I had like four of those aprons from buying lots on eBay, and then they've all disappeared on me. So not really very happy, and... This is not the outfit I wanted to do. I don't think it's that great, but you know what? This is what we get. This is this is the way the world works. We make sacrifices and compromises for the sake of our art. And my art is not this. It's other things like painting. But that sounded nice and we're going to go we're going to roll with it. So it is a stretchy fabric, and it is hard to put on the doll. I also suspect that the necklace that she's wearing, because all of this is reproduction, is not the one that came with this set. I can't remember. Oh, my gosh. I think I might have to leave it. I don't think I can get that back done. Like, that's part of the problem I have with the set, is that it's difficult to put on the doll. <clears throat> Come on. My gloves are not helping. Again, uh, uh, I almost had it. Click, click, click. Well, I thought it was going to be a quick video, but the doll's bust is kicking my butt. Bust and butt. That's where we're at right now. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that one because it just won't go on. It is staying up at the moment anyway, so maybe maybe we can make this work. And we're going to put her black shoes back on because it came with black shoes. And this is a number one reproduction, so she's going to fit on her stand. Maybe. It's a tight fit on the stand because of how tight the outfit is. And then she's also got her pink scarf, which it shows her just kind of holding. So we'll just put that in her hand. There we are. Oh no, Barbie. You had a wardrobe malfunction. Now you're banned from TV. And then her microphone, which should go up. There we go. So I think part of the problem that I have with this particular set is that Torch Singers don't really have any mystique or mystery to me. I mean, honestly, when I put it on, that does look kind of nice. It is pretty. I think that the necklace looks more like this. It's kind of sparkly thing that I don't think it's the one that goes with this set, but I mean, whatever. You get the idea. There she is singing away about Ken and how Ken dumped her, I guess, because she's a torch singer <laughs> in the spotlight, singing it away. Um, part of the reason I don't like it is that I don't think that the dress at the bottom looks quite like the picture. There's not quite. I mean, it is close, but it's not quite as long or as big. And I don't think it's as dark as it should be, like the picture indicates, but it looks all right. And the microphone is just a piece of wire with a little piece of plastic at the top. And that actually looks pretty darn good for what it is. And uh, yeah, it looks like she's about ready to sing a song right there. That's not bad. You can also like tie the uh, scarf around her neck. Have it be a nice look that way, which one of the videos of people who remake this outfit for people to wear, they, they that's how they wore it. But it looks fine being held as a little flash of pink. It's not bad. Maybe I like it more than I thought. It is very sparkly. Would you let Barbie sing you a song? What would she sing you? I don't know. I can't honestly not think of a single song <laughs> from a Torch Singer perspective that uh, will get sung by Barbie. But, yep, there it is. That's Solo in the Spotlight. Really quick video because it's just gloves, this little scarf, necklace, and shoes, and the dress. Very easy to get as a reproduction. Probably pretty easy to find, too. It came out for several years and was very popular. And, uh, yeah, we'll let her finish her song, I guess. There you go, Barbie. Sing it away. <laughs> Until next time, it's Jazz Hands. Keep collecting. 